Health Week 2021, second grade, lesson four. Lesson four is titled, Farm to Plate. Upon completion of this lesson, you will be able to describe the journey food takes from farm to you. Number two, describe which food which types of food processing make food safe and available for families. You can't eat apples right off the tree. You should wash them first. But we package apples in order to put them into consumer packages and to protect them. So we take them out of a bin, we put them in a cardboard box, and that gives them some protection for transportation. We have between 20 and 25 varieties of apples. We have Macintosh, Ida Red, Honeycrisp, Ambrosia, Gala, Crispin, and Golden, some of the varieties that we handle here. So we do about five different indices on the fruit to take a look at them and then determine from that one to pick. So we have a lot of samples come in prior to harvest and then we determine from them when the best time to pick the fruit is so that it eats well for the consumer and will store well. We use water to transport apples to make it easier, it's gentle on the fruit. So in doing that, we take the natural bloom or wax off of an apple and then we need to replace that. So when we wash them and polish them, we put a uh, wax back on them uh, to protect them, to prevent desiccation in the stores and give them longer shelf life. We use technology today quite extensively on the line. So as the apples come over the sorter, it knows where it is on it. It measures it by weight, it measures it by optics, by size, it measures the color on the fruit, so how red it is or how yellow it is. And it also takes a look at it and determines if it has defects or it doesn't have defects and then sorts them according to that and puts them where we allocate it either for fruit to be sorted to process or fruit to be sorted to the fresh market to go into a bag or a tray. Mostly working with scales is, is pretty simple. I mean, we've, we've weighed apples since the early 1900s, but the technology today uses uh, color cameras and infrared cameras. It takes about 20 pictures per fruit and then evaluates those pictures on a, against a color standard or a defect standard. So it takes all of those pictures as it rolls the fruit underneath the camera, and then from there it sorts the fruit into the parameters that you're looking for. Apples are packed into cardboard boxes to protect them. So it, it allows us to protect them. It also gives us a facility to put a marking on the fruit to know where, um, what, what variety it is and where, where it came from and what size it is. We also today put a marking on the side of the box with a barcode that identifies the farm that it came from and the date it was packed so that we're able to provide traceability as to where we receive the fruit from and where we send it to. The key to making them stay fresh is to pick them at the right time and then we put them into storage rooms that, where we control the atmosphere. An apple breathes carbon dioxide out and oxygen in. So we reduce the oxygen level in a room to suppress the respiration of the fruit, basically put them to sleep and then to keep them that way until we're ready to, to, to pack them. And then we would put oxygen back in the room by just putting air in it, bring the apples back awake, and then we pack them and send them to the grocery store. That was a short little video about how apples get from the farm to the grocery store. Now we are going to read a story titled Two Apples. So it's in your workbook. If you have your workbook or if your teacher assigned you the workbook. And if you don't have your workbook page, that's okay. I have it right here in front of me. Workbook page 10. And whose picture do you notice at the top of the story? Do you remember our healthy food team members? Reggie and Farah want to share a story about apples. So I'm going to read and you are going to follow along. Walking out to the playground at lunch, Reggie reaches into his lunchbox and pulls out an apple. At the same time, Farah puts a piece of stra a paper straw into her juice box. Hey, Farah, we're both eating apples, says Reggie. Not really, Reggie. I'm drinking mine, Farah says with a laugh. This is the tale of two apples, a story of food processing and how the same fruit is changed into different foods. Both apples grow on trees on a farm called an orchard. After the tree blossoms, flowers turn into fruit. As the fruit grows, it ripens on the tree. The farmer picks the apples and puts them in bins. Some bins are put on a truck and sent to the packing house where apples are sorted for size, boxed up, and sent to market. Now the apple juice has a different journey. 
Instead of going to the packing house, a truck takes some bins of fruit to a juice factory or a food processing plant. Workers sort and check the apples for freshness. A machine crushes the apples and then the crushed apples are squeezed by a machine press to separate the juice from the apple seeds and skins. A heater warms the juice to keep it safe from germs and the apple juice is poured into small boxes. These boxes are wrapped and put on a big wooden pallet and then put on a truck for the market. So that is the story of two apples, one that is crunchy to eat and one that is sipped through a straw. So if you have your workbook in front of you, on page 10 there are two questions. How are apples and apple juice the same? How are the apples different? Next, on workbook page 12, we are going to talk about how to be a food safety champion. And if you don't have workbook page 12, that's totally fine. Here is what it looks like. You are learning about how to choose a variety of foods from the five food groups. And that is a healthy habit to practice. It is also important to keep foods safe. Foods are stored in the cupboard, refrigerator, or freezer, depending on the food. Foods that are not stored properly may contain bacteria that might make people sick. Below are ways for you to keep food safe and be a food safety champion. So you need to decide which ones you're able to do. If you have your workbook, you can check off your workbook. If you don't, you can just make a promise or maybe you already do it so you don't even have to think about it. So in the kitchen, wash your hands with soap and water. This is especially important before and after you touch food use the bathroom or touch a pet. Make sure you rinse fruits and vegetables in the sink under cold running water before you eat them or cut and slice them. Return foods to the refrigerator or freezer as soon as you are done preparing them. Never leave perishable food out for more than two hours because bacteria starts to grow. Help bag or wrap leftover food right after a meal is finished and store it in the refrigerator or freezer. This will keep the food fresh and prevent it from being wasted because it was left out. Clean cooking surfaces with warm, soapy water. Keep bags, shoes, and backpacks off the counters and tables where you eat and prepare food. Put them on the floor instead. What other ways can you be a food safety champion? Here are some fast facts. California produces much of the country's food, including nearly 20% of the nation's milk supply. The dairy industry plays an important role in California's economy. The food system includes all steps from farm to you, producing, processing, storing, transporting, purchasing, and preparing food. People access food from sources such as farms, community, and home gardens, farmers markets, produce stands, grocery stores, restaurants, and school cafeterias. Dairy farmers care for their animals by providing food, water, shelter, and veterinary care. Farmers also care about their local communities by recycling on the farm, reusing waste products, and reducing their environmental footprint. Follow the path your dairy foods take from the farm to your own refrigerator. Notice all the steps taken to make sure your milk and dairy foods are fresh and safe. Let's take a look at the journey of milk. Dairy farm 
why did you learn how the milk gets to our school? I learned so much and it's quite interesting to see what happens on a dairy farm. How the farmers take care of their cows in the land to make sure the cows are healthy, happy, and safe. Cool. Let's start with people who work together to raise and take care of our local dairy cows. Dairy farm families who work together to take care of their cows. First, the dairy farmers pay close attention to their cows. This is a free stall barn because the cows are free to stand or lay wherever they want. Cows are creatures of habit and usually return to their favorite better stall. This barn provides shelter for the cows. It even has fans to keep them cool. The cows are very comfortable. They have beds made out of recycled materials, sand, and sometimes they even get water beds. For cows to make wholesome and nutritious milk, they must be kept healthy, happy, and comfortable. This is Josh, and he's a fifth generation dairy farmer. Josh, tell us about what you do around the farm. Well, first thing, Bright and early every morning, we go through, drop off fresh feed, and this gives us the opportunity to walk through and check each cow on the dairy. We want to make sure they're eating, and we want to make sure they're feeling good. If we run into issues that we can't solve on site with some of these girls, we call a veterinarian, because at the end of the day, what we want is healthy, happy cows. Because cows produce a lot of milk, they need to eat a lot of food. Approximately 100 pounds every day, food is offered to the cows throughout the day. A dairy nutritionist helps the dairy farmer mix the right ingredients to feed the cows. The cows eat a mixture of chopped up corn called silage along with hay and soybean meal, plus vitamins and minerals. Here's the feed we feed the dairy cows. Just like any living thing, cows produce waste. See that over there? That's called a cow pie, and it's not something that farmers eat for dessert. It's what comes out of the other end of the cow, manure. Believe it or not, farmers recycle their cow's manure and turn it into something valuable for the environment. Manure is used as fertilizer to grow crops on the farm. Added to the soil, the plants use the valuable nutrients found in the manure and produce feed for the cows. When dairy farmers recycle, the land uses less water and keeps the soil healthy. Another way dairies reuse a manure byproduct is to turn it into compost, just like what your family might buy at a store to use in your garden. Dairy farmers also recycle water to clean their stalls and water their crops. Dairy cows love to be milked. They love the routine and they are calm when being milked. The milk comes out of the cow at approximately 100 degrees. To keep the milk clean and safe, it's transported quickly through stainless steel pipes. The milk stays in the pipes, moving from the cow to the bulk tank until the truck picks it up. Human hands never touch the milk once it leaves the cow. And this tank here is for storage of the milk, and one of these tanks will fill the semi that you see driving down the road. From the farm, the milk travels in an insulated truck to a processing plant. At the plant, milk is tested, homogenized, and pasteurized. The milk can also be made into other dairy foods like cheese or yogurt. The milk is put into gallon jugs, half gallon cartons, or in eight ounce cartons like those that we see at our school. The packages of milk are then put on a new truck to be delivered to your local grocery store or school. Dairy farming is our way of life. It's our responsibility to take care of the land and the cows, and most importantly, the milk. That's what I learned about how the milk gets to our school. Our dairy farmers really do care. Let's take a look at how the milk, cheese, and yogurt, all the dairy products get from the farm to your fridge. The milk comes from dairy farms where farmers take care of their cows. The milk is tested for quality, then travels in a refrigerated truck from the farm to a creamery. There's the truck with the special container for the milk to keep it cold. Once at the dairy company, the milk is pasteurized, which means heated up, then cooled quickly. This destroys any germs and makes it safe to drink. The milk is then homogenized or mixed up to make it smooth and creamy. Milk is put into cartons or made into other dairy foods, such as yogurt, 
and cheese. Milk arrives at the grocery store or your school cafeteria quickly just two days after it leaves the farm. A variety of milk and dairy foods help your body learn, play, and grow. Which dairy foods are your favorites? There are so many kinds and flavors of milk, yogurt, and cheese. Here are some of my favorites. Cheese. Ice cream. Butter. Frozen yogurt or regular yogurt. And I chose milk. Two of these are considered extras. Can you guess which two? If you said ice cream and butter, you are exactly correct. Class recap. I hope you became aware of how specific foods from the food groups go from farm to table. California is the nation's top agricultural state and has been for more than 50 years. Describe which types of food processing make food safe and available for families. This lesson was brought to you by the Dairy Council of California and adapted for online learning by Ms. Ford.